Okay, this is the wool which has been washed and dried and is now waiting to get through the next stage of processing. I'm going to use the drum collar. Uh, this dog here <laughs> has got nothing to do with the process, <laughs> though he thinks he's important. Well, maybe not. Okay, what we're now looking at here is the drum carder. And this is the device for taking the washed wool and turning it into nice shanks which can be spun. There are bats that we saw in the other place. We put them on. This is the first go round because this wool was taken off in haste last summer from the sheep because of fear of fly strike and so forth. Um, it wasn't very carefully clipped so or prepared so this even after washing, although a lot of the um, oils have been removed from it, it still has a lot of um, bits of vegetable matter and so on. Clean vegetable matter at this stage but so you have to select a bit even now to get it onto the drum carder and I'll probably put it to I'll put it through twice um, this is during the first go round I'm picking out any additional bits of bad stuff that I found in it. These little knobs are curled up bits of fibre called noils that are not going to spin out at all. So they should come out. A little bit. This is more of that fleece that you saw as bats along with the spinning wheel. Keep going like that until this is the teeth on this are filled up. Another bad bit. The teeth consist of what looks like an array of pins measured in their thousands, which go through rubber mats, and the rubber mats are then simply screwed on to the drums and secured by the metal plate, as you can see, running from one side to the other. Well, I think you could stop now until it's Okay, once sufficient wool has been drawn through the two rollers, it's then removed by simply running a pin across the metal section so you're not damaging the teeth of the system. Or the rubber, either. Or the rubber. And you wind up with an old man's beard. <laughs> so known as a bat. From this side you can see the drive wheels which are actuated by rotating the lever on the other side. And they have a simple belt made of transparent nylon. I'm very technically there. Driving it around. Mm -hmm. 
further assistance is provided throughout by the dog. <laughs> Hi, Ashin. <laughs> okay, after a second run through, then the beard has become even finer and stranded more precisely. Yeah. And there's more of the bits of vegetable matter and oils and things have come away from it. Ready for the spinning wheel. Yeah. And then it can be, when it's spun, it can be dyed as well. <laughs>